What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel once again. We are here at one of our favorite places. We're here at Walmart today. We're actually doing something we've been talking about for a while. I don't know if we really mentioned it on the channel before, but we're doing some trout trout lines. Tanner and John calls them trout lines. These are called trot line. We're going to go out. We're going to set some of these up. We're only allowed two per person. And since I'm going to be the primary one putting them out, we figured we'd just get two anyway. It's probably a little bit easier for us to keep up with since I've only done it like once. We do have chicken breast right here. we got a couple packs of that. We do plan on going out and catching some bluegill as well. That is the plan. We're probably going to mix these up in a bag. We got some Kool-Aid to mix, mix them up with. Give them that sweet Kool-Aid. I don't know. Catfish love Kool-Aid flavored stuff. Probably also try to go out and catch some bluegill. Actually, the guy that checked us out on there said bluegill live cut bait has been the, the deal for trout lines for him. We may also try some of that. We got some worms. We're just going to stick it right in a bag. Chicken breast. I need to right there. Catfish will love that stuff. There we go. Okay. We'll get ready. We'll top it off. Ready? Oh, what the heck? That's not good. These bags, Walmart, make better bags. Double bagged up now, we should be good. That's dyed up real nice. Check it out. Oh no, the bag is ripping again. All right, well, I think we got the chicken marinating in the Kool-Aid. All right, here we are on the lake. I didn't realize we got night crawlers. I thought these were red worms. We're just gonna go with a little circle hook. But we're gonna try to catch some bluegill. Use for live bait. Just rig her on here, cover the tip up, cast her out and see what happens. Oh, oh yeah. fish on, baby. This is what we're looking for. This right here is what we're looking for, baby. There, baby, check out little gill out. That's what we're needing. That's perfect size. Perfect size. Little, little head, uh -huh. cut out the center. Oh, here's something. This is this a bluegill? God, that's a damn shell cracker, man. He's too big, isn't he? I think he's too big. We need bait, don't we? We're, well, how about we just keep him? If we catch more, then just keep this guy. If we catch more, then we'll throw him back. He is pretty big. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Johnny, what you got? I don't know. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought, I knew I was getting caught with something, yeah, John. We'll probably put that on a trout line and catch a beaver, maybe. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Fish on, John. You over here catching trees. I'm over here catching slabs. Good night. Can we get some smaller ones in the house? What's going on here? Did I just find a bluegill hole or what's going on? Same type of deal. We're going to try to keep him too. I think we're going to have plenty. John, open up the live well. Perfect. Kobe. Oh, fish on. Oh, yeah. Here we go. No slab, boys. <laughs> these are huge. What in the world? If I were to come out here and try to catch these, there's no way we was catching these. You know what I mean? What is going on here? They're getting hooked very well. Hey, he's definitely, he's decent. All right. Open that up, John. Have you used that same worm the whole time? I've used the same worm. Fishing. Look at that, getting better too. Kobe. Try it. Probably need a, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see how many fish I can catch with one worm. Is this the anti-gasoline motor crew? You guys have something against gasoline engines or what? <laughs> 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 hey, makes sense. <laughs> right, that's true. We've been here about five minutes and we've caught about five fish. <laughs> we wore them out right here on, with little, you know, night crawlers. Yeah. We're gonna cut them up and use them for a trout line. Come on now, this last one's gonna be the hardest one. I'm just wanting five. Here's fish. What's that long that took, didn't you? There you go. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, yeah. We might as well trap one more. I mean, I got a fresh crawly on. Yeah. Oh, you want me to get you out first? I don't know, it don't matter. Get him out of that tree. He's about to, he's about to jump on me. Oh, well, my God, I threw him off. Dang it, that was, a, that, was the, that was the best one we had yet for bait, you know what? Dang it. The audacity. Can't be quicker than that? God. I would have caught it if it, because I, I was going to get it this way. Good night. I, I made a perfect little alley oop to you there. There we go. Now, yeah, see, we're not trying to catch the little ones. We're wanting to catch these Mac Daddies. Yeah. So that's why we throw the little ones back. This one is absolutely Until the camera done away with it. Shield. Stole my worm. There we go. All right. Okay, well, we got all the little gills we need. Shellcracker, I actually think them are ready. Now, we need to figure out where we're going to put the trot lines. Probably have to do some Googling, honestly. We're going to have to do a little Googling and go find a good place to put these trot lines. Next time you see us, we'll be sinking some trot lines. Yeah, so we didn't actually make a big weight for the bottom. Like, at the end of the other trot line, we're obviously going to connect it to a tree branch somewhere. So we didn't make those. So what we're going to have to do, we actually did buy one ounce weights at Walmart, and we're going to have to put some periodically through the trout line and maybe put two or three at the end. All right, so they got a bunch of directions on the back here. We're just going to rip them off. I think this is going to be a mess, honestly. I, like the, I remember doing this before, and the bucket made it much more convenient, just much more organized. I'm going to tie all these on. We've got two of them. It's gonna take forever. Yes. 
they got some kind of fancy knot here. I don't, I'm not doing that. We should do these and then one more and then put put weights on the next ones we didn't really think this through to be honest with you i, I really don't want kool-aid all over my boat but we're gonna run mostly chicken breast we might do like 15 to 20 chicken breasts and then probably cut up like maybe five six pieces of bluegill how about the old ozark trail knife though we've had that baby everywhere tanner coming in clutch we didn't even bring a knife all right, so we got everything tied up. You can see right here, the boat's an absolute mess. Uh, I've seen most people use five gallon buckets to kind of, you know, tie everything up and then drop the hook on the side of the bucket so everything's kind of contained in the bucket. We did not go that route, mostly because we forgot. So, but we do have everything laid out on the boat and we're gonna try to keep it from tangling up. I think what we're gonna do is probably tie off to this log right here and like submerge the line if possible. This right here is all gonna tie off to and then we're just gonna take it straight out. You know what I mean? John's about got us good back there on the cut bait looks like i think we're ready to just about start rigging up we're just gonna wrap this sucker right around this post here fighter in here side <laughs> shout out to mtb for helping us out old mtb we left in here we got a bunch of fish and chicken breast up in there all right we got this we got the hook you want to hook us on some bait john your hands are already dirty so probably a little bit too big but we're just going to send it and we're going to clip her on she can flow right through there. I'm just gonna get her good and tight. Yeah, you definitely probably wanna do some pre-rigging at home before you do this. We rigged. Okay. Let her yeet. Good. All right, you wanna go for a bluegill? I think one, one, one more, more chicken breast yeah, and then yeah. kind of put a bluegill in the middle. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. How we looking up there, Tanner? Pretty, pretty straight or no? Good. Good, good technique. Looks good. John, I gotta say, you're putting in good work here. Oh. I don't know what I'm paying you, but I'm sure it's not. I actually, you know what? I'm sure it's a, a good, generous amount. I'm sure it is. Pretty much this is gonna be the same thing until we eventually get it all the way out here. Just keep doing what we're doing and she'll be all baited up and hopefully look delicious to a big catfish. Eat her. Got one in the sink. Nice Got a good time. It would've made life a lot easier had we done it at home. Have we done all the prep at home? I mean, then basically, we're just putting stuff on a hook and dropping it. But we didn't do that, so, you know. All right, trial line number one is set. We actually forgot to put the little tag on it, which is illegal, don't be doing that. So we went over there and re-tagged her. But uh, she's all set up. I was kind of scared about that pontoon going out there. I really, uh, really was just hoping she sunk fast enough to be out of the way, but I think we're good. He hasn't come to a stop yet, so it's good news. So yeah, we're all set right here. I feel pretty good about Feel pretty good about it. What do y'all think? Yeah. Then we gonna catch some on that one? Yeah. Yep. But that's only trot line number one. We're gonna have to go find another spot and set number two. To see what happens. See if we can find another good location. We're trying to be somewhat inconspicuous with where we're putting our stuff. But this is trot line number two. We got everything sorted out here, as you guys can see. Kind of went better this time. It's always easier the second go around. This one's not gonna be as hidden, probably. Then we're asking for trouble getting in those trees. I know it's a big honking piece of meat. Right it is. We want them to come in. We do. We have like two things, that's it. We probably should have had like a third meat or something, some kind. Like really give them a variety. No, I think. You um, think two's good? Yeah, I wouldn't have gave them three. Three, then they have to decide too much. Think so? Yeah. Give them too many options, make yeah. them indecisive. Yeah, then they don't know what's gonna go for. Yeah, I know what you're saying. All right, that's the last piece of bait we got going out there. Well, it looks like it's sinking pretty good. I think we're good. I think that'll be fine. We're still kind of like got a bunch of, you know, good variety of depth. There. I don't remember where we put I, that. If I were to took it straight across, we didn't think that all the way through. If I took it straight across, there wouldn't have been enough. It'd been too short. This is a good place too. We got a little point here. This is the mouth of a small creek, kind of, a little cove. Well, y'all, we got both trial lines set. I'm feeling pretty good about it, John. How many do you think we're gonna catch? We're gonna catch about two or three. 
I would say two or three is good. What do you think, Tanner? I'd say about four or five. I think four or five? All right. I'm going to say we'll catch probably two or three as well. Uh, probably leaning more so toward two. If we don't catch very many and we don't have much going on, we'll probably actually do a catch cook. We may do a catch cook anyway. I think it'll be pretty cool. What do you think? Trout line catch and cook? Yeah, let's go for that. We got the trout line set. We got everything rigged up. We got red chicken breast with Kool Aid and some live bluegills which one comment down below which one do you think is going to catch the most fish now we didn't really keep track of which was which but just which one do you think this one definitely this line right here definitely has more bluegill on it so i guess we can kind of keep track of that you know, if we catch more on the other one then it was probably the red chicken breast but either way uh we will catch you guys tomorrow and see how many we got on these trout lines welcome back it is the next day all right well, so we found the trout line that's good news but let's see I'm anxious, John. What do you guess? How many, you think we have anything on this one? I just want to set it low, so probably not. We you setting know. expectations low? I'm going to say we have one. What you, Tanner? I'm going with one. You going with one? Probably have to bring up the trolling motor first. You want to bring up the back motor, John? Just in case. Here we go. First one. And there's definitely some weight on there. I don't know what. If we're hung up or what's going on definitely some weight she's very tight i think she's hung up hold up hold up got something here man she is tight it's gonna be the best way to go about doing this probably that right there all right this first one oh. empty it's not good for those hands i guess we should probably should just take these off as we come to them so there's that one there's a hook on that one up there and try to help you hold it up. And you got it. I think I got it here. There's definitely, well, if it's hung up or what, this one's empty. So we're 0 for 2 so far. 0 for 4. Confidence is dwindling, John. I told you, don't be, don't be upset. Don't be, don't be surprised. I'm not feeling much. This is a long line, though. Oh, oh, we got yeah, one. Yeah. Oh. Oh baby, let's go! That's a daggum good one. That's a good one. Oh my god, I can't believe we got one. What? What is going on? All right, we got to get this guy unhooked. Well, let's freaking go, Eddie. baby! Let's freaking go. This guy has been on there for a while, evidently. There's catfish number one. Nice little channel, baby. What about that? How about a catfish bump, John? Give me a little catfish Whoa. bump. Oh, did you just get poked? There we go, baby. Let's freaking go into the catfish bucket. There we go, boys. There we go. How about that? Who knows when I have some more? So John, Whoa. John said that we should set our expectations low so that we're not disappointed because it seems like this stuff just never works out for us. But let's freaking go, baby. I'm feeling some more weight on here. Oh my God, John, we got two. We got two, John. Is this one alive? No. Nah, these, are, these are freaking Mac Daddies. They've been on there for a while. These are Mac Daddies. Oh, what's up? What's up, buddy? All right, give me the, give me the. They're right there behind you. This might be the, the way, boys. We might have to give up bass fishing, daggum. Got two freaking catfish, boys. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That dude kind of scared me, too. I know. Did you? I didn't expect it at all. I saw him come up, but I figured you saw him. How that, I got one down there. I don't know if it's or, uh, the end that we got weight on or what. Was he fighting when he came up? No, I, the complete were dead. I know they look. Those guys are dead. They're stiffer than a board. I'm gonna die. I mean, we, it's not even been 24 hours. 24 hours is the uh, like the law. You have to come back and check it, but it's been what? Has it been 16 hours? Mm -mm. Probably not. Definitely better than I thought it'd be. Definitely better. Are you kidding me? I know you guys see a lot of times like the good part, like where we catch fish and, and stuff like that. But I'll be honest with you, most of the time we strike out. And this is really the first time we've ever tried to do anything like this on the channel. I don't know. <laughs> Kind of nice to have some things go your freaking way sometimes, but we got another trout line to check, boys. Look at that. We got two nice channel catfish. Those are those are giants. I mean, compared to what we catch out of Pay Lakes, you know. Let's go check the second trout line. All right, let's see if we can find trout line number two here. See it? If 
think we definitely have something on. We might have made a mistake by setting this like in the middle of a big lay down. Yeah, it was uh, not. We, I think we definitely got something on here. Yeah. We got one. We got one. What is it? Is he alive? It's just a little one. He's alive. It's a little guy. Oh God, that's a beautiful fish. That's a good sign. We got one on the on the first one. I mean, that's what you want. He's alive too. He ain't been on there very long. Yeah, I don't think this guy's big enough to keep. We could keep him for the pond. I don't know if he is, but right there's a little one. Oh. Oh, that's a <laughs> you thought yeah. the bluegill had was something? Yeah, let's see. Right, let's start getting these hooks off. I don't know, it got really light. This is the one we felt the best about, right? Maybe the chicken breast was the... Yeah. John, that was a big piece of bait. <laughs> yeah, it big. Well, we started out strong on this one. What happened? You're not feeling anything? Nope, it's not feeling that much. Dang it! What happened on this one? Too much bluegill. I don't know if bluegill was the move for this. Yeah, I know. That's unfortunate. I had high hopes. That first one got me all jacked up, you know? But we do have two nice catfish. Maybe that tells us something about what we should do next time. I mean, maybe that slanted, like more shallow, isn't the way, you know? Because Tanner and John were thinking maybe we should kind of put it more this way than like different depths because it seemed like we caught those fish right on the drop off. I think. I don't know. We were thinking about that, but maybe we should just stick with that and just cover a bunch of depths. No matter where they are, you know, fish are different all the time. Especially right now as we transition into summer, I guess. Fish are always weird when it comes to bedding and all that stuff. So maybe just straight out's the move, but we got a couple catfish and I couldn't be happier. I would, if you told me before this, we're going to catch two catfish, I would say I'm fine with that. So let's get on home and we're going to cook up these guys and see how they taste. With that said, we'll catch you guys back at the house. All right, guys, we have made it back home. We already got the catfish all cleaned up and got some beautiful looking flays right here. Mm -hmm. Check it out. We got them cut up a few different ways. Just some nice flays. A lot, really, from two catfish. Can't really complain about that. We got some different things lined up here. We got some fried taters. Got all the fixings. And over here, we got some, we got some batter rigged up, getting ready to do some hush puppies. Fried taters, hush puppies, and some catfish. That's the way to go around here. We'll just kind of show you what's going on. We'll go with a good size fly. Look at that. It's a beautiful fly. So we're just going to dip her in some egg here. Get her all mixed up, you know. You know how we do up in here. A little egg action right there. Boom. Did you see that? Did you see that mess we just made? If you ain't making a mess, you're not doing it right. You know what I mean? Man. Here we go. Oh my goodness. And while she's laying there, get a little obey. We don't really have any seasoning, that's just cornmeal. A little obey seasoning on it. A little Cajun. A little, little Cajun kiss on it there, you know. And uh, of course, while we wait, we hydrate. Shout out my boy Stale Cracker. Love that guy. But we're going to let this fry up. We're going to do that to the rest of the flays as well. We'll get back to you when everything is done. I think it's going to be a delicious meal. Alrighty, y'all. Here we are. We got the table spread. We got some delicious catfish right here. We got the fried taters right here. And then we got some, we're calling these hush puppies even though they're pretty much hush biscuits, wouldn't you say? So, and then we got them pretty done too. They're pretty hard. Good night, you, can, you really hurt somebody on one of those to be honest with you. But anyway, we're gonna dig in here and give it a try. Let's, uh, let's get, the, get the plate going. A nice little flay there. I think I'm just gonna try catfish first. I'm gonna try one of these bricks too. I'm gonna put a little ketchup on the side for the hush puppy. All right, here we go. I'm going no seasoning. You're already in. You're already cutting deep. What's going on? Good stuff. You like it? I'm hungry. Tastes like catfish? Tastes like kidneys. Hmm. That's good. They're good. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. We were a little concerned that maybe the catfish had been dead too long, but we've seen mixed reviews, honestly, or mis mixed opinions online about it. Some people said, yeah, it's safe to eat if you find them dead. Some people said, no, it's not. Some said if it has pink gills versus red gills, blah, blah, blah. We decided to eat anyway, so looks pretty good. You can see right there, white and flaky. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you guys like the trout lines or bank lines or jug fishing, whatever you want to see, let us know down in the comments. Guys, we'll see you next time on another episode of Fish One Take.